and welcome back to episode 11 of my Candy Love University Live again. So this time I'm playing through Rain's Root and I am super excited for this because I haven't actually seen a lot of information on it. So it's very intriguing. Um, I've already played through this episode twice. So I'm going to skip through all the stuff at the beginning with Shiny, Rosa, etc. And I will meet you back here once I find Ryan. See you in a bit. Oh wow, okay, so this is the only account that I have positive affinity with Yelene, and she wants to chat, I guess. Um, you okay? Not great, no. I just want to sleep. Hmm, how about you? Um, I might go with this one, because obviously through this whole episode she did not seem okay, so let's go see. I'm okay, yeah, thanks for asking. Have you made any progress with all your soul searching? You mean, am I going to drop out of school? Yes. I thought about it, yeah. And I think we're going to finish off the year together in our 90 square foot room. I've gotten used to it in the end. You lingering, slightly amused, before lying down in a bit. Good night. She turned off the light and I slipped under my blanket, rereading the message I'd gotten while I was out to eat with Shani. Actually, I feel bad for Yulene, and I kind of like wish that I did give her a chance on my other accounts. I think the reason I did is because I was so jealous of the fact that she liked Caspiel. That was just ridiculous because obviously nothing's happening. So I'm like, why didn't I just give her a chance? But anyway, I guess we can play through with her as our friend on this one. So it's fine. Okay, here we are in his class. I walked into the room and sat down quickly with Melody. Good afternoon and welcome. No, no, don't bother getting your things out. Follow me. Ryan picked up his bag and immediately left the auditorium. We all sat there, dumbstruck for a second, not knowing what to do. Just seeing him sends chills down my spine. He didn't see me, or at least didn't look at me. I'm thinking about Saturday night so much. I get the impression the whole class can read me like an open book. Calm down, you're in class area. I just have to act normal. He ended up sticking his head back through the doorway. Come on, let's go. We all made a bunch of rackets standing up to obey him. Mm -hmm. Is everyone here? Okay, off to the restroom. Ugh. There, <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I've already read through this, but whatever. <laughs> You'll see. Uh-huh, this is a bit weird, but yep, let's go. <laughs> we'll never manage to all fit in here. It's funny. Seriously, he's lost it. Are we really going to spend the whole class in the restroom? Shani slipped through to get beside me. We were crammed in like sardines. Something tells me this class is going to be unusual. I admit I'm curious. And it's good you are. That's my point. What, did you hear me talking? Oops. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about urban art, street art, and graffiti. I see hands raised. Wait a minute, please. Street art, by definition, means art in the street. But I still want to start here in the restroom, a place shared by all of us. By us all. Shiny raised an eyebrow. Everyone seems intrigued. I want you to look around. You can search and scan the walls and tell me what you think about it. Everyone started looking at the walls, giggling and chatting. The commotion was interrupted by Yelene, who raised her hand. More than anything, there are a bunch of signatures. People just writing their names. It's not the least bit interesting. So for you, it isn't art. Yelene seemed to pause and think for a pretty long time. No, they're just signatures. Anyone can do it. Interesting. Does that mean a work of art shouldn't be something that can be recreated by everyone? Melody raised her hand in turn. It's a tag, so a signature or a symbol, you know, like when you tag something to label it. Usually it's the artist's alias. The first tagger to get media coverage was Taki 183 in the 70s in New York. Yes, thanks Melody for that historical reminder, but that doesn't answer Yelene's question. The discussion went on for at least 15 minutes in the restroom before he asked us to go out onto the campus quad. For the next part of class, I'd like for us all to take a walk around town. Use your phones to take pictures of everything you see that makes a reference to street art. I'm going to play with you and later this afternoon we'll pull everything we've found. We all walked out the gate together. Let's all meet up in the auditorium in an hour with at least three photos each. I'm so interested to see if the scene goes a different way, so <laughs> let's see. A piece of advice, keep your eyes peeled. Now you're free to go wherever you like. But sir, what if we don't have a smartphone? What do we do? 
Be inventive then, you must have friends, otherwise get some paper and a pen at the front desk and copy the work of art, figure something out. We all started searching around us, some stayed near the gate and others rushed towards town. I looked around for Shani, but she must have already left. I took out my phone and took off searching in turn. One. Let's see, I don't see anything here. Two. And three. And let's go back. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> uh, hello. <laughs> Have you found three? Yes, sir. I found three. <laughs> this class is really interesting. Yes, I'm done. Thanks for the text you sent me. I'm not sure it's a good idea to talk here. <laughs> Don't be such a downer. Oh my god. No. Okay, I'm going for A or B. <laughs> I kind of want to go for A. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Why not? Ah, uh, thanks. I appreciate your enthusiasm, Ari. Mm -hmm. He glanced around. There doesn't seem to be anyone nearby. He lowered his voice. In any case, I was planning on seeing you at the end of class. I didn't answer your text. Sure, no problem. <laughs> I sent it late. No, but... Oh, God. <laughs> I gave it some thought, and... His sentence is getting off to a bad start. I think we still have time to backtrack. <laughs> Don't you dare! <laughs> Don't you do this to me! His sentence hits me like a cold shower. What? How dare you? I'm putting myself at risk doing this, and especially, I'm putting you at risk. Are you telling me that you want us to stop seeing each other? Wait, is this some kind of joke? I understand. <gasps> Maybe we should just take a step back. I don't know. I can't think straight. But essentially, what we're doing isn't prohibited. You, What we're doing isn't prohibited? You know it as well as I do. Maybe he's trying to say it is. I no longer know what to think. Think about it. Nothing much has happened yet. <laughs> oh, nothing much, huh? We can still stop everything. Tell me you didn't feel anything during that kiss. Tell me you regret it. I can't say that. If you can't say it, it means let's give ourselves some time, but oh, whoa, whoops, <laughs> I don't remember seeing any around here. Tags are harder to find than I would have thought. Awkward. Shani was looking at the buildings without paying any attention to us. Yelene and two other students turned into the alley shortly afterwards. Way to start up the rumors again, guys. We backed up a step, pretending to look around us in search of graffiti. <laughs> Smooth. Did you find any here? No, nothing. Maybe we can find some on the way back, closer to campus. Yeah, let's go. Brian and I gave each other an emotionally charged look, and I let Shani drag me out of the alley. How dare he? <laughs> In any case, I have my three pictures. Oh, but I thought you were looking for more. Sure, it was to have more. We can just wait for the others in the auditorium. At least it'll be warmer. Yeah, let's go. My ears were burning. The time went by so fast. I didn't get it. The idea of seeing Ryan again now, right away, doesn't thrill me. I wish the class were over now. I feel like lying down on my bed, listening to music loud, not thinking. Especially not thinking. Interesting. We sat down. Some students were already there, and the others were straggling back in, little by little. When Ryan walked in, I looked the other way. My heart was aching. I just wanted the time to go by fast and the class to be over soon. I felt dizzy. I think everyone's back now. You can access the auditorium Wi-Fi to send the pictures from your phones. And for those of you who drew, I've got you covered. Bring the pictures here so we can admire your reproductions. Many thanks to you all. You shut up, you dick. I spent the rest of the class deep in thought. I tried to focus as best as I could. But it's really hard for me to have to look at him for a whole hour. Oh, I get the impression he's, he's avoiding making eye contact with me or else I'm imagining things. In any case, it's much too dangerous to just sit there thinking about Saturday night. The two of us on the couch, chatting. Then in the dark break room, his lips on mine. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> Damn, I refuse to think about it. You coming? We have to get to our new class. Our new class? Our next class. Sure, let's go. Okay, I think that's the end of that little scene, so I guess I'll be back again. Okay, so I believe for this one, we need to go for the plaid shirt get up again. <laughs> oh god, I guess I better get some money for this. <gasps> Shit. 
Yes! Yes! Look at me go! <laughs> yeah, okay, Castiel. I've had enough of you for one night. How convenient. Running into him just randomly during the night, as usual. <laughs> Classic Ryan. So, I have to say, uh, before this point, just make sure that you are basically rejecting Castiel's advances if you want to bump into Ryan. Um, Otherwise, you might end up having a one-night stand that you regret. So, anyway, continuing on with this. Airy, Rayan, what are you doing here in the dormitory building? I tripped from surprise, seeing him right there in the middle of the dorm lobby. I'm sorry, I should never have. Should never have what? <laughs> Is this a joke? It's too much for one night. I'm boiling with rage. I lowered my voice. You should never have kissed me last Saturday. I know that, yes. You already told me that on Monday. No, please. Let me talk to you. Here in the dorm lobby, where, here where the walls are paper thin. <laughs> sure, great idea. I'm willing to take the risk. Really? Whoa! <laughs> okay. No need to run such a big risk. Come on. Shani, where did you come from? <laughs> Don't just stand there. Someone's going to see you both. Follow me. I made eye contact with Rain, who seemed just as surprised as me. Uh, I didn't think it was possible for me to love Shani even more. <laughs> a group of students seemed to be approaching the dorms from the quad. We have no choice. We hurried up the stairs as fast as possible and the three of us ran into Shani's room. Thanks, Shani, but... I heard you talking in the alley last Monday, so I know. <laughs> Oops. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Oh, what? Wait, I... Sorry, I didn't dare talk to you about it. I didn't know how to bring up the subject without making you panic. Just know that I couldn't care less what you do. And I understand the moral problems this kind of relationship can bring about. But people don't pay enough attention to the human dimension of emotions in cases like this. And if it were only up to me, I'd decide to... Okay, wait, <laughs> I'm still taking this all in. You're going too fast. So, you knew? Yes, <laughs> I thought you had put an end to all this on Monday. I wanted to get your mind off things tonight. That's why with Castile, I... Yeah, yeah, I get it. But wait, I... You'll be more comfortable here for talking. I'll be on my way. But Shani, what about you and your roommate? She went to see her family for the weekend, and I was in the lobby because I was about to do the same. You're leaving for your parents in the middle of the night. I couldn't sleep. I have my car, and there's less traffic at this time of night. Don't worry about me. I do this often. Okay. Uh, well, thanks, Shani. <laughs> yeah, thank you. No problem. See you Monday. Shani closed the door behind her. For a second, I stood there dumbstruck, considering everything that just happened. Then I turned to face Ryan. That girl is pretty incredible. Uh-huh, you can say that again. Yes, I don't realise it enough. I so... So did you come to say you changed your mind about the matter? Did you come to rub salt in the wound? Does it, doesn't it bother you to learn that Shiny knows? I guess, uh, oh, I don't know, let's try to see. Oh yes, she seems to be someone who's trustworthy and means well, so no, it doesn't bother me. And actually, anyway, there's nothing more to say, <laughs> considering you put an end to it all on Monday, so you can just all leave now. No. I was going to say, it doesn't bother me that Shani knows. Nothing bothers me anymore. Meaning, when I saw you again in class on Monday, I panicked. I forgot we'd be seeing each other again so soon in the week. I hadn't even had time to get over what happened on Saturday. Same goes for me. When I saw you in that class, I saw a student in front of me. I forgot Saturday's eerie. Mm -hmm. I remembered my responsibilities, the rules I was breaking. Hmm. Whereas all I had in mind was Saturday. When I made that decision on Monday, I hadn't realised everything that involved. I had all week to think about it. And? And I can't. I can't run into you all the rest of the year and pretend as if nothing had happened. I can't ignore the fact that you're the only person who has flustered me since... <laughs> since my wife. <laughs> okay. I can't miss out on the chance of finding out more about you. Talking all evening long while sitting on uncomfortable couches, eating pastries that are way too sweet. 
discussing off-the-wall topics endlessly, or kissing you again. His hands caressed mine hesitantly. I can't miss out on all that. I moved away. But does that mean we're starting over again? Until next Monday when you realise that I'm still your student, and that the risks are the same. We're stuck. I'm willing to resign. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That was a bit loud, but okay. I'm willing to resign. <gasps> what? You cannot do that. I know. I know you and I have more to experience than just running into each other in the hallway and be dying to kiss. Uh, I want to take the time and I want to do it right. Mm, but still, you <laughs> shouldn't just quit. <laughs> Starting a relationship based on hiding and lying isn't the best way to go about it. I'm willing to leave the school for that. After all, it's just a job. No, that's out of the question. You like your job more than anything. You're not going to quit because of me. Really? Are you sure? Would you be capable of that? Anyway, if you and I want to give it a try, that's the only solution. It's either you or me who leaves this place. <laughs> no. Um, I don't know. Let's go A, I guess. It's the only solution. There are others. We don't have to go to such extremes. And I kind of like the sneaking <laughs> being honest you know uh it's too much responsibility too many huge decisions to make when practically nothing happened between the two of us and yet so many things have happened on the on the inside <laughs> okay i feel like my head's going to explode as soon as i run into you in the hallway we could keep on running into each other in the hallway is that what you'd like it's what we can do my last will be over in a few months it's ridiculous to have to drop everything just for a few months and a relationship that's barely started. I'm so afraid it will all blow up in your face. I don't want to put you at risk like that. But I want to. We have no other choice. Uh, okay. I'm willing to go out right away and rush into the director's office to tell him I'm quitting as of tomorrow if you want that. Okay, don't be so dramatic, love, okay? <laughs> I can't ask you to do that. I can't assume responsibility for such a major decision. So am I going to keep having you in class and have to act as if you were just some ordinary student? <laughs> yes. Well, yes. Are we going to keep running into each other in the hallway and keep giving each other knowing looks? Mm, yes. <laughs> Are we going to keep setting dates with each other in discreet places so we can keep getting to know each other? Yes. <laughs> Are we going to keep kissing in the dark in the break room? No. <laughs> I thought I was going to say yes again. Uh, no. <laughs> no. No, we're going to do that here and now. In Shani's room. <laughs> Lovely. Really? Yes. Right now. He framed my face with his hands. His gaze was intense. He stared at my lips as if he were waiting for me to confirm what I had just said. And he kissed me tenderly. The heat coming from his hands is strong. I feel like my whole body catches fire at his touch. All week, I thought I would never feel this feeling ever again. We kept kissing as he held me tight in his arms. Our lips separated to let us hug, my head resting on his chest. It's so late. It's going to be daylight in a few hours. You can't run the risk of being seen coming out of the dorms. And the next time I see you, we'll most likely be in class. I can leave just before dawn. I can stay a little longer. Well, come on. I don't think Shani will be mad at us if we sit on her bed to chat. <laughs> That's all. We sat down and talked about all kinds of things. I feel like I'm dreaming. What's happening is like a moment out of time. I'm going to wake up tomorrow and you'll have disappeared and we'll run into each other in broad daylight in this university's endless hallways. Do you have a gift for creative writing? That's nicely put, and I understand what you mean. It's as if the night were hiding us, and the daylight washes our secrets from the eyes of others. He held me tight in his arms. We kept talking, then ended up slumping down onto the bed, and finally completely lying down on top of the comforter. Snuggled in his arms, I felt his I feel his breath on my neck. I feel so good here, against him. I'm so afraid he'll get away from me again. I squeeze him tight without realizing it. I ended up falling completely asleep. I was still completely dozing when he placed a kiss on my neck. Oh, 
Oh my god, I love it. So cute. Hey, I have to go. The sun's about to come up. You can keep sleeping. See you soon. Promise. Still half asleep, I felt his weight leave the mattress and the door closed softly behind him. I fell back to sleep right away. Oh, wasn't that just the sweetest? Oh my god, Shani, I absolutely love her. She is the best. Okay, I like this one. Uh, I'm still disappointed by Castiel, <laughs> but, uh, you know, whatever. Actually, you know what I'm disappointed about? That my candy in this route is Lysander's eggs, and it just never comes up anymore. Like, not even with Castiel. Like, you think that would be weird for him to try and come onto her like that, and there's just no mention of Lysander. No thought of Lysander. So... Anyway, enough about that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more Let's Play and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!